everyone! I recently put up a picture on Instagram of my homemade version of a grow box and you guys seem to really like it, so I thought I'd show you how to build one. The cool thing about this box is that each side of the box gives me about 6 square feet of growing space and the top gives me 4 square feet of space. So that's a total of 28 square feet of growing space in this 2x2x3 two by two by foot box. First let me show you all the supplies I'm going to use. A chop saw, a drill, screws, scissors, a hammer, U-shaped nails, a staple gun, roughly 35 feet of 2x4 boards, chicken wire, roughly 11 feet of 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, burlap, landscape fabric or some kind of thick water permeable material, I'm using a tight weave shade cloth because that's just what I had on hand, a bamboo teepee, organic soil, plants and or seeds, and casters. The first thing I did was cut all of my lumber and PVC. I cut the 2x4s first so that I ended up with 4 32 inch pieces, 4 17 inch pieces, 4 21 inch pieces, and 4 24 inch pieces. Then I cut the PVC into 4 31 inch pieces and drilled holes all the way through both sides about every 4 inches along the length of the pipe. Next I'm going to build the frame. I'm going to make the rectangle out of 2 of the 32 inch pieces and 2 of the 17 inch pieces, screwing them together diagonally. I'll do this twice so I have two sides put together. Then I'll attach them all together to make the box by screwing the 21 inch pieces in between the two rectangles. Now I'll need to flip the box over to attach the four 24 inch pieces. These will form the bottom support. I want two of them to be lined up with the sides so I have something solid to attach the casters to, and the other two will be spaced out in the middle. You don't want the bottom to be completely solid so water can drain from it easily. I'm going to tack the chicken wire to the outside of the box using U-shaped nails. You want to make sure to really pull that chicken wire tight so the sides don't bow out when you put soil in it. It should look kind of like this. Then I'll line the inside with shade cloth using the staple gun. The cloth will keep soil in and let water out. Next is the burlap. I'm going to use both U-shaped nails and my staple gun to tack a double layer of burlap over the chicken wire. The box is almost done. Before I fill it with soil, I'm going to cut holes through the burlap and chicken wire, but will leave the shade cloth intact. About 12 holes per side. These holes will be where I plant the strawberries. When cutting the chicken wire, I make sure to not leave any sharp wires. Be careful when cutting. Chicken wire can be a total pain, quite literally, if you aren't careful. Now I can attach the casters. This was the biggest improvement I made to the grow box. You can imagine how heavy this box gets when it's full of soil, plants, and water. Soil and PVC pipes are next. I'll put in a few inches of soil, then we'll place the PVC pipes in, one at the center of each side. The pipes will help with the watering. I can water the top lighter knowing it doesn't have to make it all the way to the bottom. What I can do instead is fill the pipes with water and the holes in the pipe will help distribute water more evenly. It worked really good in my first box. Then I'll fill in the rest of the way with soil and I used about 5 2 cubic foot bags of soil to fill this box. The bamboo teepee will go in next along with royal burgundy bean seeds, white sweet Spanish onions, and 4 Gonzales cabbage. I'm going to fill up all the sides with strawberries, 12 per side which means I'll have 48 strawberry plants in this box. I chose Fort Laramie and Quinault strawberries. You can plant the sides with all sorts of different greens, herbs, and really anything that is in a root crop. I planted my other box with half lettuce and half strawberries and it looks really pretty. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe below if you haven't already so you don't miss out on anything. And you can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We have lots going on there too. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.